Some people are excited by flying. I was petrified. I mean, really petrified. I had to go up in the plane by myself. I think the biggest thing that becoming a pilot has taught me about myself is that even the things that don't come easy can be learned. That it's time on task, it's perseverance. I'm Sarah McNary. I'm a pilot, I'm a camper, and I quilt. So I have this excitement, but I also have this fear. And so when I was first doing my solo flight, it's required, you know, for flying that you have 10 hours of solo flight at a minimum. I had to go up by myself and I was petrified. And so to try and humanize my experience and connect better with my plane, I named her Matilda. My pre-flight became this effort to just really get to know her and to have her know me. She became my companion, you know, my helper in that flight. You know, I started to feel very, very connected to her and her little idiosyncrasies, you know, became part of her personality. And so we worked together to achieve that, that check ride and to pass it and to become pilot. My favorite aircraft I would say just to ride in would have to be a helicopter because the views are just amazing. You can get close to the ground, um, you can zoom in on anything that you really want to get a close look at. They're very maneuverable, but they're not terrific for travel. Being in our plane is the perfect long distance travel. So we've taken it, you know, as far as Canada, taken it, um, you know, up to San Francisco many, many times. Very convenient, um, easy to fly, enjoyable. Some people um, are, are, gosh, they're just terrifically brave. They grab hold of the long arm machine and they just start sewing. And that wasn't me. I was full of fear. I was full of worry. I was full of trepidation. I was full of anxiety. Um, I don't think I'm a perfectionist, but really messing it up was a worry of mine. And so for flying, it took me a long time to get comfortable. Um, but keeping with it was what finally succeeded. And with sewing, that was the same kind of thing. I was so intimidated, I just couldn't start. Um, and I went to my guild meeting. And I mentioned to a woman, just in passing, kind of making fun of myself to say, yeah, I've spent all this money on this long arm sewing machine, but I, I, haven't, I haven't done anything. And she said, well, you know, I'd be happy to show you. And she was a teacher, and I paid her to come and give me a private lesson to show me how to load the machine, how to turn it on, how to form those first few stitches. And so I had this woman come, and so she taught me, and it was just, that was the liftoff I needed. And that just made all the difference in my quilting. There's a lot of energy in the takeoff of a plane. And there's a lot of focus in the landing of a plane. But the rest of it is not very demanding at all. But if you're the kind of person who looks for patterns, there's a lot to see. Land, you know, forms just the Grand Canyon, the way rivers cut through rock, all of that kind of informs quilting designs. Flying over areas that are agriculturally developed, there's circles among circles, there's squares, there's rectangles, the way city streets are laid out. All of that is inspiring for quilting designs. And I use the difference with color and contrast and the way lines are developed to help inform my quilting. 
So when I first started quilting, like most long, you know, beginning long armors, you know, I was an edge to edge girl. But you start to go to a couple of quilt shows and you start looking at what is possible. So when I purchased my handy quilter on the little foot frame, suddenly I had the ability to do the kind of detail work that I craved doing. Instead of making that pattern that I'd seen and loved for the color, I started choosing patterns that had lots of visible quilting space, lots of, they call it negative space or blank space. I moved away from darker quilts because you couldn't see the stitching on them. I wanted lighter quilts with more space where I could really kind of show my artistry not only in the piecing or in the applique, but also in the quilting that I was going to do at the end of it. And it just opened up a whole new world. I'd always been that girl in, in school doodling on the edges of my paper. And quilting is exactly that. It's the ability to just doodle on fabric in very creative and repetitive ways that really make a design pop. And it allows you to see something deeper. There's something wonderful in the word home. It just brings up images of safety, security, acceptance, love. It's a wonderful, wonderful place to be. And I truly love my home. In interior design, they talk about some concepts of nest and perch. And nest is that safe place where you are just cuddled up and, and warm and absolutely secure in your environment. And perch is that ability to look out above and see. And both of those things are in my house. I have my sewing studio that makes me feel like I'm in this perfect, warm, wonderful, supportive nest. And we have an incredible view out towards the mountains, California, and the lake. And that's my perch. When I was young, we did a lot of tent camping. And then as I got older and had my own kids, we did some car camping um, and, you know, adventures like that. I don't know if you want to call it energy or if you want to call it spirituality, but there's something absolutely wonderful about the breath you take when you're out in nature. It inspires creativity. It pulls away all of those other ties that kind of wrap you into a man-made world and lets you into a world that is so much bigger and so much brighter and so much fuller than anything we normally experience. But the nice thing about camping, which is the same kind of nice thing about quilting, is that when you make that connection with people, when you go to a new campsite, there's folks who have been doing it forever and they're more than willing to share their advice with you. And the same is true for quilting. You know, when you go to that guild meeting or to that quilt show or even to that quilt shop, there's some lady or gentleman in that place that has been doing it forever and will help you out. I'm Sarah McNary. I'm a pilot, I'm a camper, and I quilt.